These animations are just examples. You can animate your photos inside CapCut to upload on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or wherever you want to use. I will let you know how you can animate your still photos inside CapCut, and I'm gonna describe more than 10 different ways to animate your photos. So let's dive in. Inside CapCut, you need to do a setting first. Top right corner, go to setting. Delete any cache if you have. It will be more smoother. Now go to edit and make this value 10. Make sure that you check mark this one. It means once you are on different layers, then they will not merge automatically. Check mark these proxy options and set your image duration as one second or the duration you want. This is how you can import multiple pictures and the duration of each picture will be only one second. Hit save button. Now go to create a new project. Import your photos. I'm gonna drag them to CapCut. Now the photos have been imported. Drag the photos you want to your timeline. Now we can place them anywhere. They will not merge automatically. You can also see the duration of each photo is one second. Here is one here is two seconds so each photo is one second for the tiktok videos you need to go to ratio and select 916 this is the tiktok video ratio and then you can grab these pictures and make it full screen like that but for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna make 16 9 16 run is the ratio for youtube videos First, make them equal to this entire canvas go to all these pictures and do the same things you can see that some photos are going out of the frame we will fix them later don't worry once you are all set you have all the photos on your timeline now first thing you need to do is go to animations and set the animations as combo or in animation and out animation i'm gonna go for combo once you hover your mouse cursor here it will show you what kind of animation it will look like and you can simply click and it will be added to your timeline once you select any of these combo animations you can also check the duration here in and out duration is already given you can also see the seconds do it for all the photos whatever you like if you want to go for in and out animation then make it sure that you are doing the right things for example one is sliding to the right side the other should slide to the left side like this let's say this one is going spin up from the left side this should go from the right side like this and now do for the other photos whatever you like and make sure that the duration is not way longer so that it will look ugly it should be shorter like 0.1 or 2 seconds once you are done with the in animations just go to out animation and then give some of the animations and also make sure that the duration for the out animation it should be equal or similar now we are done with the animations if i play this video yes there are some you know things we need to fix here this photo is not in the frame so what i can do go to this photo first make them inside frame go to video option and give first keyframe and go to the very end of the photo and now drag it to original timeline like this this photo is also not inside frame so what i can do just go to this place start up this one give a keyframe now go to the end of this video give another keyframe like this now if i play they are exactly in the frame after adjusting all the pictures in the frame the video will look like this once you're done here go to your transitions apply some of the transitions so many people are doing shaky transitions and some other transitions like basic blur and movement so you can apply some of the transitions here transitions will be added in the middle of each picture so apply transitions according to your choice most of the people using glitch transitions for photos so you can apply some of the glitch transitions for these still photos just drag any transition and apply it between the clips now apply another transition you can drag any of them to your timeline and now after applying transition it will look like this You can always increase and decrease the duration of your transition here or here in this section. Once you are done with the transition, now you just go to filters and apply some filters here. Let's say I drag this filter and my video will look like this one. I can decrease the intensity. I can increase or decrease. You can apply any effect you like. If you have a multiple photos on top of each other, then you can go to effect and apply the effect only on particular photo, not on the entire video. Let's 
let's say like i want to apply this filter then i can apply this filter on this particular photo as picture in picture like this it will not impact the downside overlay so after applying these filters transitions and effects and animations it will look like this now you can add any sound bring any copyright free sound from your gallery go to your sound apply fade in fade out effects here we go now it will look like this Cool. You can also do one thing, match the beat according to your effects and transitions. To match the beat, there is an option in CapCut. You can go to this tiny little AI icon and it will, you know, match the beat. It will automatically mark some of the areas of your beat like this one here and this one here. So you can match these beats according to your style and transitions. Now let's learn the other method and that is just bring any of your photo to timeline and here you scale it down like this one and go to this video to canvas and choose the color choose any of them now go to photo bring it all the way down up to that place go to the very start give a keyframe go to very end of this one to give another keyframe to the entire screen play this video it will zoom out like this and go to the screen but here if you want to rotate this photo just go to this keyframe again add a keyframe and here you just rotate this photo like this rotate again all right and here you can change up to this position again like that so if you play now so this is an easy and quick transition this is another method now we are going to reveal one photo from another one just drag any photo here now drag the other photo make the timeline equal like fit it into the screen now go to this overlay on top of each other go to video mask and split and now rotate this one up to this place and at this place you give first keyframe and now go to the very end of your photo give another keyframe automatically so if you play like this it will be like that it is very essential for those who create after and before videos so one side you can play after and the other one you can place your before video this mask can not only be 90 degree you can just go and you know make it up or down or you can also rotate a little bit like this and make it like that if you bring this one and make a first keyframe here now go to this place reveal all the photos so it will look like that like this it's a cool animation and you can do it for multiple photos not only one or two now let's learn picture in picture option here are two photos i'm gonna drag it to the timeline like this and now this is another photo and i can place it as picture in picture no matter this is a video and this is a photo it's okay you can you know keep it as picture in picture or video in video maybe you are talking about this picture in the photo so what can you do just bring it all the way down like this give first keyframe and now give another keyframe move your cursor here and give another keyframe and it will reveal like this like this easy and here at this keyframe bring this text here so that it will be a caption for this photo like that you can also animate this text i have a lot of other videos about text animation you want to animate this text you can just bring this one to this timeline and animate your video will look like this now let's create our final transition and there are a lot of more other things you can you know do with these photos but you know we're gonna cover this one in a small video i'm gonna make it a little bit larger so fit to the screen staying on this one just go to video and go to canvas and choose the color any color you like this one has been added if i just rescale this one it will be added in the background now in the start just give one keyframe and move this photo out of the frame go to the very end of this one and go to this scale again make it back to 100 and make sure that this position is zero so that the picture is on the canvas now if i play this video from the start cool that's how you can animate any of your photos you can do it from right to left left to right or from top to bottom or bottom to top in the meantime you can place another photo here fit it to the canvas like this but make sure that this video is on the top not in the bottom same as before we did 
so just go to position here 90 degree and at this place give a keyframe like this and at this place give another keyframe move this photo there so that's it you can easily create these animations i'm pretty sure that you have learned a lot today and if you did thumbs up and subscribe and if there is any question any query write in the comments i'll see you later bye